What is more exciting to a child than their birthday? They spend all year looking forward to this happy event. They make lists of all the presents they want and plan the perfect party in their head with fun balloons and all their friends. Of course, every child hopes that this will be the best day of the year. However, the story we will tell you today is about a child who may not have gotten to celebrate his big day if not for one shocking circumstance, surprising both him and his mother. But let's start from the beginning. Make yourself comfortable as we begin. Like any other child, Glenn Barati was looking forward to his birthday. He and his mother Ashley had been preparing a party for a long time. Glenn wanted this day to be unforgettable, and he ended up getting his wish, but not in the way he'd expected. On this day, Glenn was turning six years old, and he decided to invite all of his classmates to a party. Ashley supported her son's initiative, and given the fact that Glenn had autism, she always did whatever she could to keep him happy. When the time for the party had come, decorations were hung, and pizza was on the table, no one had arrived. Glenn sat by the door, waiting hopefully, but still no one appeared. Ashley didn't understand because no parents had told her they weren't coming. So she found herself frantically trying to come up with a plan because she saw tears of disappointment welling up in her son's eyes. She bitterly wrote a post online about how none of her autistic son's classmates came to his birthday party, which greatly upset him. After all, he had been preparing for this day for a long time, dreaming that he would spend it with his friends, but not a single person showed up. And now the boy was sitting alone on the floor by the door, losing hope every passing minute. Glenn looked at his mother with tears rolling down his cheeks, and he asked why no one had come. Ashley's heart was breaking for her son, seeing how upset he was. Then, to their surprise, the doorbell rang. Delighted, Glenn rushed to open it, but he didn't see any of his classmates. Instead, there was a large crowd on the porch. It turned out that many people had read Ashley's post, were really touched by it, and felt sorry for Glenn. Understanding his disappointment, they decided to support him on his special day. They stood in his yard, happy and smiling, with gifts and balloons in their hands, lining up to personally congratulate the boy. Glenn could not believe it. He didn't expect to see so many people at his party. But it wasn't over yet. Every minute, more guests were arriving and the yard was running out of space. Ashley began to worry that there wouldn't be enough food for everyone, but it turned out that guests came with not only gifts for Glenn, but many also brought food and drinks as well. And when it seemed that the whole city had already gathered to celebrate Glenn, suddenly the sound of police sirens could be heard down the street. Police cars, a fire truck, even an ambulance arrived at the boy's house. Glenn could not believe that they had all come just for him. It turned out that a police officer had come across Ashley's post while he was on his lunch break. The man considered it his duty to come support the poor boy and persuaded his colleagues from other services to join him. They met up a couple blocks from Glenn's house and turned on their sirens to honor him. They even allowed him to ride in each emergency vehicle, which was a real treat for the boy. But that was not even the last surprise of the day. Soon, a helicopter flew very low over the roof of Glenn and Ashley's house. It turned out that another officer, who had been flying over the city on duty, had also learned about Glenn's story, so he deviated a little from his route and came to congratulate Glenn personally. Having circled over his house, he waved at the boy, which delighted Glenn to no end. At the sight of the helicopter, any of the neighbors who were not already in attendance came out of their homes to join the huge celebration. Glenn could not even imagine his day would turn out like this. He happily accepted all of the gifts, and the smile never left his face. Ashley was incredibly grateful to every single person who decided to take the time to celebrate her dear son on his special day. She didn't know how to thank them, but each person responded that they just wanted to support them. Over the next few days, people continued to come to Ashley and Glenn's house to bring him gifts and wish him a happy birthday. There was even a story on the local news about the unusual holiday in their city. We can hope that the parents of Glenn's classmates who did not show up to the party saw what a commotion this caused and felt guilty about not coming to support the poor boy. How could they not attend without even a warning after all the planning and anticipation? The moral of this story is that despite the fact that there are many heartless people in the world, 
There are always more kind and compassionate people to be found. After all, the only thing Glenn needed on that day was just to feel that he was important. Glenn remembered this special day for a very long time and told all of his family about it. His eyes lit up every time he told the story. Friends, write in the comments what you think about this story. Should the parents of those kids who did not show up to Glenn's party that day have let his mother know? Or maybe each of them thought that only he or she would not attend and no one would notice? Fortunately for Glenn and his mother Ashley, everything worked out for the best that day. And the most important wish of the boy's mother was fulfilled. On this day, she wanted to see a smile on her son's face. And if there were tears in his sweet eyes, then these were certainly only tears of joy. If you enjoyed this story, please click the like button and also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so as not to miss our new videos.